guys, I'm Molly Sanyor. It's Monday night. I'm in LA with, I'm so excited for this guest tonight, guys. It's Lena who owns both Good Dirt LA and Numbers Only LA. And she is the reason I'm out here and that I was doing these workshops. And it's been so fun to chat clay and business of clay. And I'm coming back to Richmond tomorrow with all kinds of new ideas. We'll talk more about it. Let's get her out here, Lena. <laughs> coming on tonight. Such a treat to be here on location. Guys, LA is really gorgeous. If you haven't been out here, come take a class, take a workshop, or just come visit. All right, Lena, what are we making tonight? Okay, so first I have to say I don't make pottery often. So I may be a little rusty, okay, but I'm sure I can teach you how to make a teapot that is hand-built. You guys wanted a hand-built And pottery? we have had a lot of requests for hand building, so thank you members for requesting what y'all would like to see. You shall be delivered. Yeah, so we're going to do a hand-built teapot, okay? The only part that has been wheel thrown is the spout. I think it's just easier when it comes to the round and everything, but we're going to be challenging ourselves today, and we're actually going to make a spout that is hand-built, and then it has a very tight fitted, fitted lid. lid that's gonna be the magic it's a square and it's hand built yeah and lena made that guys so that's what we're going to be doing all right today. and so our members on our pre-show um lena was getting her slabs ready and she, we are in her studio good dirt la and she has a slab roller that we use um but take it yeah. away do you want to get started yeah let's cheer so okay. exciting <laughs> And guys, we were in we were here at her other studio, Good Dirt LA, and we did two workshops, one on throwing a dinnerware set, which you saw Lena as we posted the picture together. Oh, we did, yeah. And yeah, she yeah. sculpted the flowers on hers, amazing. And then the throwing big workshop, everybody was crushing it. Throwing yeah, so they big. did really good. What, what was the key thing that um, Cynthia said about she's never thought you throw that big at the end? What was yes, it? Yes, and I tried to find the video and I couldn't. Oh, one of the members sweet. said, or that took the throwing big class, she said, you know, I came in, I could only throw like three, five pounds, and yeah. now she left throwing like 18 pounds. So she said, I'm not scared anymore. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, said, I'm yeah, not yeah. scared anymore yeah. after a big. Yeah. So guys, tonight, Cheers to, that. Done. Cheers to that. Don't be scared. Taking the scared out of throwing big. And Lena got us live when I was doing a demo, and my whole big pot just whoa, ate it. So I'll be sharing that with y'all later, too. That'll be fun. Oh, oh look, Kumar the Kumar. Ah, she took one of the workshops. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Okay. Um, and we have some questions that y'all sent in. We'll be reading throughout the time, but chat with us, guys. We are so excited here in LA on location. Third with Molly, episode 53. Wow, you have done so many. 53. Okay, so I made this as labs using this lab roller table. Now, a lot of times when you guys are hand building, a big problem is that you have cracks. Yes, and, it's and very warping. Warping. And then a big part for it, that great thing to do, is to compress your slab. Okay? So I use the round part of my uh, rib tool that's metal and I just go compress this way. So if you have uh, a canvas and you don't want the canvas texture, this is really good for it too. Just smooth it all out. Yeah. And I even go in different directions. Just making sure that's very well compressed. And what is your clay background? How did you get started in clay? I was going to the University of Georgia and I was going to study industrial design. And I had to take an elective. I'm all in Georgia, yeah, like University at, of Georgia, UGA. Like, okay. Yeah, at the University of Georgia. Um, and I had to take an elective, and well, like we had to take three-dimensional classes and drawing, just like because it was industrial design, you had to learn all these things. One of them was ceramics, and I was so bad at it. Really? Like on the wheel, I just couldn't do it, and I'm like, I, it was too challenging. So I kept just trying to center, trying to center. I was horrible. I focused my entire semesters on hand building more than on the wheel. Okay. Uh, but then I got good at the wheel and I like it, but I still like hand building because I think it can be more expressive. Ooh. <laughs> so I like that, yeah. Um, so yeah, I studied uh, at the University of Georgia, art, and my concentration was ceramics. Okay, so I was a ceramics major too. Yeah. All right, so you graduate college, you have a ceramics degree. Yeah. And then what? And then I moved to LA to do acting. Oh yeah, yeah. that was a fun fact. So yeah. I, we, yeah, tell them about that. I'll let you tell them. Well, you can tell them. It's well, okay. guys, I have a certain shampoo. <laughs> and we were talking about how Lena did a shampoo commercial for Sophia, I can never say her last name. No, it's not Sophia. Um, yes. Eva Longoria. 
No, I thought it was Sophia Vergara. Yeah, yes. I, I could not double her. I thought you doubled her. I did. She doubled, doubled her. Eva Longoria. Oh. For uh, ever pure L'Oreal commercials, and mm -hmm. I was the hair flips. Yes, when you see Eva Longoria flip her hair, apparently her hair was real short. So Lena came in and did a hair flip to yep. be Eva Longoria for the shampoo commercial. I was your shampoo hair. So she came to LA to do acting and commercials? Yeah, that's actually what I did. I did lots of commercials. And you were and just like, forget art? But I guess commercials is acting and art. Yeah, I don't know anything about art, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> flip my hair. The art of flipping hair. Yes. <laughs> Do it. Um, <laughs> it's true, guys. She was a hair model for Eva Longoria. Yeah, yeah. Because so, Eva Longoria <laughs> didn't have it, but Lena did. We'll, say, we'll post your quote in your stories later. Okay. 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 Um, so anyway, then I kept doing acting. I um I had an audition at a place, and the first floor was a Potter Studio. Mm. And I kept, after an audition, I went at a Potter Studio, and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get back into the into pottery. And that's what I did. Um, and yeah, I haven't stopped since. But you yeah. stopped making, kind of. You, she said oh, she well, makes like yeah, once a yeah, month. Yeah, yeah. Because she's opened up two businesses. So when did you go from wanting to make to opening your own studios? And what do you need next? Okay, so I'm gonna decide. So this is the body of the teapot that we're gonna be making today, and it's hand built, and I made it a square. Sometimes when I hand build, I kind of do things a little bit more organically shaped. Because if you're going to do it round, it's a really round, it's not going to be as round as the wheel. Mm -hmm. So the wheel, great, do round things on the wheel. Yes. But if you're hand building, might as well make it a little oval, organically shaped. Just play with it. And it made little dimples. Do you see how the... Yes, yeah. I noticed that when I picked it up earlier, little dimples. Yeah, little dimples. So we're going to use a slab that's long to make the body first. <clears throat> so I think about how big I want my teapot to, do, to be. And I said today we should make a smaller one. So if we do this big, it's going to be too small of a teapot. Right? So I'm going to extend this a tiny bit longer, maybe like three more inches, so I get a radius of this big of a teapot. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to trace. I'm going to put this And here. what is this paper? Do you just keep these stencils around? Yeah, stencils. We do a lot of kids' classes, a lot of one-timer classes, and this is the perfect stencil for a mug. Oh. So this is their mug. Yeah. Oh. Mug. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead. Now, if you wanted to put any texture on your teapot, you're going to want to do be that before you cut. Mm -hmm. Because then you're going to be pressing. Yes. Yeah. And yes. if you press, it's going to change the shape. So if I were to want it anything, I should have done that by now, okay. right? Okay. So I'm going to cut. Some people use knives. That's great. I'm just going to use the needle tool. But I'm going to make sure I keep my point straight. So I'm uh, going to be tracing. And yeah, Lena, when we were getting the tools ready, she kind of picked tools that she thought everybody would have. A little scratching tool. Wood knife. This, I think, will be a fun, interesting tool. The 90 degree cutter, we'll get to that in a little bit. Yeah, Sponge. and you don't have to have that, and I'll teach you how to do um, it with that one, so that you can do this from home if you don't have a studio. Yeah, a part of the request for the hand building, which thank you, Lena, for showing us how to hand build a teapot, and look at this nicely fitted lid. Like, it is on there. Oh, yeah. That's, like, real nice. Um, we, but we had requests for hand building because not yeah. everybody has a wheel. I'm going to my stencil a few more inches because I'm not speaker. Yeah, go ahead. So, and guys, let me just tell you. So, coming out here. So, Lena has two studios with different kind of business models. Yeah. The one where we are now does classes. So, if you've ever signed up for like an eight-week class or yeah. a six-week class or one-time class, that would be kind of where you come over here at Good Dirt. And then she found out that those people that took the classes, they didn't want to take the class anymore. They just wanted to keep making, and they just didn't have access to maybe a kiln or a wheel, mm -hmm. which I hear a lot of you saying it's a real need is for the place Daniel. to oh create. Oh my god, Danielle is over there. Oh my god, hey Danielle. Gonna Danielle, Danielle are there? we going to see you later? I guess I could get a second win. <laughs> I was saying I'm so tired earlier, but you know, it's, YOLO. It's Danielle. Come on, we're going to see Danielle. Danielle. Oh, how sweet. Okay, so if I'm going to make a hand-built teapot, so this will be the radius that I'm going to have. It's going to be a small one-person teapot, okay? We're not going to go anything too big, and you can always make it bigger. Um, my slab is thicker than I would normally use, but um, that works for me right now. That's fine. Now let's talk about the ends. So let's talk about this tool, and I'm going to demo it if I didn't have that tool and if I have that tool. Ooh, okay. okay. So that way you guys can do it at home. I'm going to need a ruler. Do you want to be back? Yeah. Me a ruler from there. Um, okay. So if I want to do a 90 degree angle and I have this tool, here you guys, it 
has one that's more like a 45 and more than what's a 90. So I'm gonna go with the 90. And I, I called it really close against the clay and I go like that. Okay. I mean, I've seen these so tools. Really nice. Okay. But I've never used one because I'm like, I can just wing it. But so that I have is... a little ramp there. And you know it's going to... Yeah. Or, if you don't have one, you just put the ruler a little bit farther away. Okay. Oh, good tip here. Good tip. Cutting that 45 degree yeah, without... Yeah, a little bit far for me. So. One of these ones. Yeah. And then I'll just angle it. And then you keep that same angle all the way. If you do have one of these tools, this just cuts that 90 degree. Oh yeah, that's right there, just a minute. Okay, so now I'm going to use the 90 degree. Uh, I'm going to do it on this side, and I'll show you why I do that too, because like, why you even do that? So I'm going to show you. So I'm going to cut this side, okay, and I'm going to flip this way, and then I'm going to cut this side. Oh! And it's so good because when I match them together, you see that it's almost yes, like it's meant to seamless. Be. Like, yeah, they fit perfectly. So I'm just going to score and slip. So now, a lot of people do do you slip first, do you score first, do you slip and score. I heard you slip, score, slip. No, score, slip, score. Score, slip, score. There you Always go. end with the score. I say so that the texture is like really ready to like. Okay, and this is what I do. Yes, what? Hi. What does Lena do? Guys, this is Lena, studio owner of two studios out here in LA. We talked about the first one, Good Dirt does classes and members only. Once you know what you're doing and you just want access, you can become a member and go unlimited. And then not only what I love about the membership is they all became friends. Oh my gosh, that's so They all like met each other from... Okay, so this is what I do. I get my scoring tool and I score and I sleep at the same time. Boom! Who needs to do two steps? Who needs to do two steps? Life like is too short to score forever. Yes! <laughs> So dig that score tool in your slip and score and slip at one time. Yeah. But and this does the same thing because that score the score lines are on the top. So. Yeah, exactly. Because sometimes if you score and then you put the slip on, the slip just covers it all. Yeah, that's true. But look at this. So now it's like a good, good texture. Yeah. Scoring both pieces so that they can. Do you want to? Like Velcro. Should we do a stair glass? And oh my God! Stair. Questions. I love you. Okay, so this is the We're hand building this. Okay, we're hand building a teapot. Okay, so I'm gonna put them together. I put my left hand inside, my right hand on top, and I start closing it from top to bottom. Okay. Okay. And Sarah. I didn't know Sarah. Sarah also has her own studio in Fort Lauderdale. For Sarah. Sarah, Fort Lauderdale? Is that her? No, it's not Fort Lauderdale. It's um and then, Pensacola. I don't know. She's just gonna tell us. Okay. So now I'm going to leave it as an oval, and I do that oh, even 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 when, for this big shape. Well, for right now, anything, even if I'm doing a mug, okay. And then I'm gonna lift it this way, and then I'm gonna worry about. Oh, I wish we could get in there. I don't know how we're gonna get that. But I'm gonna move the clay from the left side to the right side. She's smearing with the wooden knife the overlap of the clay onto the other side. She's smearing. That's smearing. Smearing. smearing, like cream cheese on a bagel. Yes. You can't really see the seam anymore because she's smearing with that rounded edge of the wooden knife tool. Oh, there's my dad. Hey, Frank. Frank, this is Lena, the studio owner who owns these two studios out here. So, guys. Okay, okay what's the next step? Well, then I worry a little bit about the one on the outside. Oh, so you can kind of see if her smearing If you want to. But I do like a story that a pot tells when it's hand built, and sometimes I leave them, right? But because this is going to be a square, I'm not going to. So let me see if I can find the seam on this one. I don't know, but let's see. Because it wasn't meant to be left. I did. Feeling it. Feeling it. So. And then I, it hardly has any water. Okay, so like a clean, really wrung out sponge. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to create a square. Because I'm gonna, we're making hand built square teapots, okay? Nice. One of those. Okay, so we have it sort of roundish right now. And then how do I make a square? How do you make us a round clay square? Okay. So okay. here is where the here is where the seam was. I'm gonna ignore where this I'm not gonna put a dent where the seam was. But I pick other four spots, okay? Okay. And so I'm gonna pick here. 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 
Was that not the same? Is that where the same was? Yeah. We don't want to wear the same ones. How much money is I, Lena gonna cost me? And it's yeah, it's Lena who, who with an L I. Who am I costing money? Why am I costing money? My dad, because he always thinks that when I spend money, it's really him spending money. But it's <laughs> <laughs> well, we talked yesterday, and you, um, and I'm gonna cost you uh, forty five thousand dollars. Uh, forty five, maybe fifty five. Yeah, forty. Well, you want fancy things in your studio. <laughs> you want fancy things in more of them. But I had thought it was gonna be one hundred fifty. Guys, if y'all remember my dream of 150, that's too much. My dream of Northside Clay, Community Clay Studio, it's back on. It had been on the back burner, but now that I've come out here, it's back on with the business model of members only, which from Good Dirt and all the classes, the people yeah. wanted that space. Yeah, and that's what you're gonna do. I'm happy for you. Okay, I'm gonna do these. Okay. These. Okay. So she marked on the top. Four, four corners. Four corners. And now, and now I'm gonna cut this kind of V size. If you want to be super perfect, you oh. do it here, and then you match that same V. Yeah, trace. but I'm never super perfect, so I'm just gonna do that. So fifty-five, fifty-five hundred isn't too bad. No, it's fifty-five thousand. Oh, to open a studio. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, fifty-five hundred. That that's like a kiln and a half. Right. A kiln is three thousand. Yeah. But yeah, I think you could definitely open a studio for forty-five thousand. So my goal when I come back is to open up a member studio in Richmond, Virginia, where if you have some knowledge of how to throw and you just want that space, you don't want to invest in the wheel and the kiln yourself, yeah. you can come to Northside Clay. Yeah. Membership studio in the north side. Okay, so I did the V's and now I'm squirting and sleeping at the same time because that's same what time, I do. Because we don't waste time here. That's what I do. And honestly, this this um, slab could have been a little bit thinner, but you know, so we're going with this right now. But it could have been thinner. Okay, and then I'm gonna close them. Ah, I'm seeing a resemblance taking form. Yeah. And yeah, Lena has a slab roller, but she was also showing a method before the show with the members over on Throne with Molly. Uh, you can just take your clay right off the, the hunk and yeah. just kind of slam it back and forth to make your slabs if you don't have a slab roller. Yeah, you just throw them this way. And then you turn it around and you go that way. You turn, it around. turn it around, turn it around, yeah. turn it around. Let me be like um, a good, you know on the cooking show, so like the other person cleans up all the bowls. Because I'm amazing and I have done real. Yeah, I just need these. We might want them though, so. Okay, so I'm closing so those seams. I'm making a little square on the top. And that's actually going to be the bottom of my teapot, not the top, okay? Oh, this is the bottom. So yes. This is not where the lid is going. No. Because we're going to give it a little bit of a lift. You could have it uh, flat, but look at how nice it is that it gives it a lift. Yeah. Right? It's a little bit suspended up, if you can see it that way. So and what I like about the hand building is, I mean, this is all happening so quickly. It is happening. Like on the wheel, you kind of have to throw it and wait, let it dry. That's true. That's true. Now, I'm going to do the same thing that I did with that seam in the inside. Just making sure that this is very well sealed. And she's using, let me get another wooden knife tool. I'm using you. this wooden tool and I'm going like this. Yeah. This tool. She's just using the back rounded edge. And I think you're even using this edge, right? Like you're kind of scraping up. Get in there. Yeah. Guys, I've had so much fun out here in California. I had, I mean, people always okay. told me, cheers. cheers. They always told me, like for as long as I can remember, people said, you haven't been to California? I feel like you would love California. You might not even come back. You need, you haven't been to California? I've never been. Yeah, no, you. Now in the past year, Lena and I met in November. Okay. Oh, hola to Argentina. Hola, como estas? Guys, I finally have a Spanish-speaking <laughs> person. Ask all the Spanish comments, because now Lena can help me. Okay, so. Oh, a little tapper. Yeah, and I would normally go get a paddle, but I'm blind. I'm, I'm oh. Molly. It's okay. Uh, we'll, what about this wooden spin? We have a paddle. Is it over here? Yeah, it's right there where the, the left, yeah. There, yeah, yeah, yeah. This? No, this. There's some. No, the other one is like a squarish. I, I don't know. This one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's perfect. I don't have a paddle. Maybe because I have not been yeah. I need to get a paddle. Oh yeah, if you are hand building paddles are your best friends. Okay. Look at that. Yeah. So it's taking the shape. Paddle. And then I'm gonna paddle the top a bit. Okay. 
And you're not working on a banding wheel? No. Like to turn and like... No. No. <laughs> no, so... <laughs> I'm like, no. So we have, a, we have this. We took okay. the brown piece, made a square hole. Yeah, and that's going to be the bottom. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a square that covers that, and that's the bottom of my cup. Okay. So we're going to find a little square that is that size. So the way that I do it, I go into paint a little. Ah, look at you. I'm a painter and a stamper, okay? So I paint. Okay. And then I grab a slab, uh -huh. okay? And then I stamp. And then I take it off. And then now I have that print. Oh, the light, you can see it. So I'm gonna cut around the outside of that and make it really nice the outside of it? Yeah, and then it will just sit there. So I'm gonna do a really nice and straight rectangle. Really nice. Yeah. Which actually, it might be the width of this. It's a little bit bigger. Okay. 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 What, what, what questions do they have? Oh, what so they? we did get um, a question in from Sarah Glass. And ah, is Sarah still watching this? Thank Sarah. you, Sarah. Are you still out there, Sarah? This is what questions from you. What is your favorite part about being a studio owner? Okay. I think it's a community that that I have created. Um, is my favorite part. And just seeing how people just... Sarah, is there. Awesome! Okay, so this is my favorite part about the Potter Studio. I have met incredible people that I never would have thought of meeting before. And I love seeing how relationships and friendships are born at the studio. I think that people need a place to go and bond with other people and it's not just going and drinking. It's, yes. it's a different things. Like you're going and you're doing pottery. It's like, I don't know, like well, a book club. Something even. I keep hearing out here that I never heard before was that pottery is the new yoga. They, I've heard that at least like five times. Oh, wow. Pottery's the new yoga, pottery's the new yoga. Okay. And yeah. I think people, you're right, they don't want to all go out drinking and it's nice. It's so, Columbia, so, thanks for tuning in. So I think that I think that's my favorite part. I think my favorite part making is making the community. Making the community is so nice. It really is. Mm -hmm. It's very satisfying. Sometimes I'm like really tired and I hate my life. <laughs> <laughs> and then I get an email, it's true, and then I get an email and it says something like Thank you for having your studio. It has been helping me so much, and everybody's so nice, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, it's and it like, makes you feel so good. And it you're makes like, it all work. Right. I know. Trish Potter it's is so the new good. yoga, haha. -ha. And she's one of my members, Learn Smiling members, and she's taken workshops with me. And we've gotten to become friends through pottery. And yeah. every time I teach a workshop, the people who take it, I always love a pottery workshop, whether I'm taking or teaching, because I know the people involved are going to be so cool. And so nice. I'm just pouring and sleeping both sides, and then I'm going to put the, that bottom foot on it okay? okay so the great thing um that we were talking about about how people is like doing yoga this and that so in LA everybody's about burning calories okay so <laughs> I have something that's called a pottery boot cap but now we need to figure it out you guys and I don't know if you can help me figure it out how many calories can you burn per how many, so we can sell it so I can be like come in the pottery take a dance will throw it burn a thousand calories in an hour. I mean, I will have you guys wet my pottery. Yes! Yeah, you want extra calories? There's some extra clay that can be wedged. For an extra 300. Take a menu. How many calories do you want to burn? So, how do you figure out how many calories get burned during the I don't know. Do I have any money that knows how many calories get burned? calories can people burn in pottery boot camp in pottery boot camp. people would be all over it they would book like one a day it's just so, to like burn so the calories alive because we're so like, oh I need, so to go to, I need to go to yoga so I cannot do pottery I'm like no 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 yeah no 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 wait you're gonna burn calories here <laughs> you're gonna burn so many calories um it'd be hit in South Florida as well I think it'd be hit everywhere I think it's spreading so how many how many calories are we gonna how do we find out how many how can we start selling the calories that you're burning here does anybody know? Like when you go order a salad somewhere, they're like, this salad has 400. Yeah, how do they even calories. know that? How do like, they are know? They, are they like making that up? My buddy hurts from trying to throw large. Do I need to lift? <laughs> Everybody at the workshop was saying how they were a little sore. They were saying they were sore after the throwing the dinner set piece. It wasn't even throwing big and they were sore. Which is it? My buddy hurts from, oh yeah. And then where are we guys? Where, where are, are we? Dirt we're LA? on location in Los Angeles at Good Dirt LA yeah. with studio owner Lena. I remember that. Lena. 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 Yeah, she's been all over my story because she was my host 
And she's the reason I'm out here teaching some workshops. She invited me to her studios, and she's been the best host. Good. Taking me all around. And then when I turn around, it's going to make sense. So you have a lift. So you have this lift, and then I'm going to make it a square by doing the dimples here and the dimples there. Okay. So it's like you have a little globe shape, but it's this, this lift. Though. So you have the bottom of your teapot. Can you see it? I have a bunch of people wear those heart rate monitors and get an average. Oh, okay. <gasps> I love life. Thank you, Trish. I, I, I love heart, your work. heart Thank rate you. monitor and then see how many calories you burn. See, an average one. And I'll make sure I watch extra that day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll make sure I also mop the studio. Yeah, mopping. Oh my gosh, core. core. Okay, so now you can see that the oh, inside. Oh, like a little dimple. I put the little dimple. The inside looks like this. Okay. So, oh, let me see. So I'm going to The inside do, looks a bit messy still. So I'm going to move, let's move it. You're still just using that tool? I don't use a lot of tools, girl. I use my fingers. I love that. I would have gotten maybe a paintbrush out, but she's just using the back end of the wooden knife, doing her smearing. Hey, girl, hey, it's been a while. I'm the South African wife. We talked before. Yes. So good to see you watching. Thanks for watching, guys. This is episode 53 on location in LA. We're back in Richmond next week. Let's see, have you, have you partners in Houston? I told Lena she should franchise the thing, but she's like, you don't need me to franchise it. You could, you could franchise it. No, we're just gonna help her open her own. Just yeah, I'm gonna open a members only in Richmond. Lena's got some in LA, so Houston. I don't know anybody in Houston. I don't know anybody in Houston. I'm awake in the middle of the night here in Norway to follow you. Yeah, that's so cute. The gang, that's a, yeah, she's a member too. Aww. I love my third and volley members. Hi, and then I wish, See you in your works one day. I'm from Iran. Thanks for tuning in, everybody, at yeah, all hours it's of so the day. It's so nice. It's so international. I it's love so it. international. I normally have my map, and we map. I told you. And the, there's usually a lot of Argentina. Wait, I'm from Colombia. I yeah. did say that already. Yeah, she's Colombian. We have a Colombian. So if you speak Spanish and you've ever tried to communicate, and I have stumbled, I now yeah. have help. So before I even get my paintbrush in there, it's pretty smooth. Just I smooth it out. It's so smooth. You no longer see the divide from the slab. Yeah. yeah, and I'm gonna really get. I'll show you all up close. But wait, I'm this, put it up a little bit more, but yeah, you can that's okay. Right there. So it's really smooth with just the back end of her wooden knife tool. And to show you all here, and the, the wetness of this clay feels good. Like, it's very sturdy. And you can see she kind of put in a dimple. Okay. Okay. Yay, and Lena said she would handle the teapot, which is great because we're always on the wheel, so it's great to get some different techniques. So I've just put a tiny bit of water and I'm using this brush and I'm just going to smooth it all the way. Look, hi from England. Hi, England. Hi, hi. from Sa Saudi Arabia. What? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is why I love Instagram. Lena and I met because of Instagram, pretty much. We pretty much. And a love really the shape. Person, but yeah. Yeah, should we talk about it, guys? Remember Tortoise? <laughs> Who is that? Remember Tortoise and how we all love Tortoise? And then we found out he was a big jerk. And now we don't follow Tortoise. Remember the hashtag? We, we don't. Follow don't. Tortoise? Okay, Tom. He's yucky. And we met because we were brought together for a workshop to support women in clay. Yeah. We both got the same workshop. Yeah, at Clay by the Bay. At Clay by the Bay because yeah. they had hosted Tortoise and he was an awful person. <laughs> and they used the benefits from his workshop to bring women from all over the world together at Clay to by the Bay in San Francisco. It was yeah. Past November. Yeah. And that's where we met. Yeah. And months later, we're back together again. Here we are. Here we are again. Is it almost like a year later though? Yeah, because it was November. Okay, so we have the bottom of the teapot. It's hand built. They have the little corners. I squeezed a little bit. This could be good as a planter, this could be as a, good as an anything. Now you have a shape, right? And it's smooth, no seam showing. So this is what I have. Good, so unfollow him, unfollow Tortoise. So that's what we have so far. And now I'm gonna do the, the top. And we're, we already said we're making it a little smaller than the one I made for, um, for this before. One. Yeah, so I, I look at the seam here, and I follow a little line all the way here, and that's where my next triangle is gonna go. Okay. Oh. Uh -huh. So, best weekend, yes, Oakland, Oak Lodge Pottery was at the workshop with us. It was yeah. Women in Business of Clay, thrown by Clay by the Bay in San Francisco. Potters from all over the world talking the business of clay. Lena came to talk about her studios, and I loved her. 
I loved her. I actually looked back at our group oh, photo. Oh, that's so cute. I was like, Lena, I really loved you. And we looked back at the group photo, and there's like 20 people, and I'm sitting on Lena's lap. I'm like, true story. <laughs> kind of softer, but she invited me here. I didn't invite myself. She did not invite herself. But I lit up. <laughs> I lit up. <laughs> Here I am. So now I'm cutting the edges again. Of my Guys, tattoo. are you afraid that the bottom will separate from the walls? That Absolute, is my biggest fear. Absolutely not. Look at how. It looks thicker than I thought it would be. The, That's my mom. Hey, mom. Oh, it was thicker than I thought it would be. Yeah, because when, it, as I said, we, we are using thicker slabs. Look she did say, like, this one is They're thicker. pretty thick. Yeah, she said that you can go whatever thickness you want. This is a little thicker than normal. But I think it's better as a demo to exaggerate the thickness so, so I don't have to worry. It. Yeah, so you can see, like, I cut this. It was thin. You couldn't really see it as well. And see these four triangles she cut? She cut those on the bottom first. It was a slab, so rectangle. I have that. And then cut out, made the bottom. Yeah. And now she followed up, cut out the same triangles. And yeah. so, are you scared the bottom's gonna separate? Because when I make my no, wall pockets, do you pockets, want to show them from the front, like the back and the inside, so yeah. that they can see? This is definitely not going to separate. Yeah, this is not going to separate. So, this slab piece that was just put on the bottom, she then took the wooden knife tool and smeared the seam on the inside, and then used the paintbrush to really smooth it. So it is now one. And I think another thing about this hand building, which is so great, because on the wheel you have to like wait and wait. This is all one piece, so it's all the same wetness of clay. So True. it's not like the bottom was wet and the piece was dry, and then you have to worry about it cracking apart. That's true. So I think it helps that we're working quickly here. Lena's is fast. And guys, if you didn't, if you well, missed, well, we don't have that much time. I have 30 minutes. Only 30 minutes. Oh my gosh. Only 30 minutes. So have to do the lead. And <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. And if y'all tuned in at the beginning, she said that she really. Because she runs all these studios, she doesn't get to make as much, and she makes how often? You said once a month? Yeah, I eat that, yeah. But now she's making like a ton, because she did the workshop the other day, <laughs> made her own casserole set. If y'all didn't see my, I posted on the picture with Lena, and she, we did the cover casserole set and the two piece yeah, set fun. as the workshop, and then you were supposed to like make it your own, and she sculpted the flowers on all the mm -hmm. left. Yeah, so you made that, now you're making a teapot? I'm making a teapot. It's like riding a bike. She's like, will I remember how to make it? She hasn't made this in how long? When did you make it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's probably from six years ago. Six years ago. And just tonight, she's like, I guess I'm just one of those. Okay. So now I do the same thing as we did earlier. So the V's got folded, and now you got folded, and transform that round into, into a really a nice square. square. I'm so curious about the lid. Yeah, the lid's That's what I'm going to be like, oh. Look at all these heart eyes and thumbs ups. Cheers, guys. I'm gonna fill up Lena's rose. That's what I'm while drinking. While she's working. You know, I didn't know we were supposed to drink while we did this. You didn't know. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it takes like one drink for me. And then it's like, okay, we're gonna drink and you're gonna make a tea party. Yeah, it's a drinking show. Like Andy Cohen, he's my idol. He has his cue cards and his drinks. Jenny to um, get to some more of these questions. So no pressure. No pressure. It's just fun. Speaking of pressure, guys, so I threw this um, big pot the other day. Lena was live on Members Only filming it, and the clay hit my pedal, and the pedal made the wheel, and my pot flew. So that's a gem I have to share with y'all later. I love your bubble, bubbly energy. Who's so bubbly? She's the most bubbly person clay in the world. Clay and creations. I'll cheers for Lena. Well, yeah, because I'm in a mission You're here. You're working, and I'm just guiding. Okay, some more questions. I'm in a mission here. Okay, uh, so this is shaping up good, I think. Oh, yeah. Just the paddle smoothed out those seams, too. Yeah. I need to get a paddle, and I like this paddle. The paddles I've seen are really big and cumbersome. This one's just like... Okay. What does the paddle do? It shapes, it gets rid of seams. Uh, well, it moves the clay also really well. Like, like It inwards. really tells you where to go, like... Yeah. All right, Lena. I'm a new potter, and I'd like to advance quickly. What are the tips for advancing quicker? Practice. Practice. Yeah, definitely practice. And I think that you have to listen to what Clay wants also. And that's really important. Like, I, I, fought, I fought wanting to make big at the beginning, and I had an amazing teacher that I loved with all my heart. Her name is Lauren Gillespie. And she goes like, but you're so good at attention to detail. 
how about like you do your you know something mm -hmm. exquisite and delicate so you also have to listen what the pot what the body of play you're using wants to do with you it's not like i want to make this you know sometimes we all have different talks but and we i get it like listen to the clay because that is true but i also am a big believer personally that you have a plan like you said, I'm gonna make a teapot, and yeah. now you're making a teapot. Yeah. But I like what your teacher said. Like Lena, don't worry about going big. You have this attention to detail. If you've been following me, you know I'm a mess. I don't love attention to detail. You don't me love personally, detail. I hate it. No, it's fine. So I wouldn't sit there and like sculpt a flower for my piece, like Lena yeah. did, because it yeah. hurt. That's beautiful, and you should find your own style. That was kind of what we talked and about too. And then practice other things that you're not good at, obviously. Yes. But don't give up because there is one thing that you don't know how to do or it's like challenging. And what if you want to get better but you can only come in one time a week? I don't know. You know, I hear a lot of people do watch a lot of videos and that's probably helpful. Oh, my mom. Thanks, mom. Is Lena coming to the Inseca, in mom? She said the in whatever. <laughs> the end that's whatever. in Richmond next spring. Compress. It's in March. Oh, and compress. Who's com what do you want me to compress? What? what yeah, what are we compressing? We're compressing. Every Nick. time you do a slab, you should compress, which Lena did with her little round. Nick, I did compress. Nick. Nick is one of Lena's teachers here at um, Good Dirt LA. Good Dirt LA. He's so actually a manager. He's a manager. He was just in here. Thanks, Nick. He was just in so, here. are you coming to Inseca? The Clay Conference that travels, travels around every city in March, and it's coming to Richmond, Virginia. That's where you're from. Well, look, here comes someone. Uh-oh, someone came to the studio. We have a studio member. Are you picking up some work? We're doing a TV show live. We're live. We're live right now. We're making a teapot. You want to come okay. say hi? Okay, so, so we have this so far. Okay. And now I'm going to make the lead. Come so on, say hi. Are you, have you taken a class here? No, I haven't. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Guys, you just popped in the studio. Okay, so now we're going to work on this lead. And if you see, it's like two-part lead, and it fits. Perfectly. Perfectly. Okay. Yes. And that's what we're going to be working it on. It really does fit perfectly. How can it help you? Yeah. I came to get a gift card for oh. my Oh, okay. Nice. So our gift cards are sold online? Are they really? Yeah. So you came and you say hello and you were like, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. You're not going over here for nothing. <laughs> no, for to see no. Us. You now you know where it is. Yeah. Yeah, they're sold online. This is the owner of the studio. And you can um, okay. set up the theme, like if it's a birthday or anniversary or whatever, and it gets mailed to them. It gets mailed yeah. to them. Yeah, in an email. Yeah. In an email. Yeah. So can I do that right now? Sure. And then you have a question. Look, what's your favorite thing to make? Clay oh. creations. Mugs. Mom's my favorite. Yeah, I'm a mic maker. What do you think? Let me go to the bar. Okay, okay so wait. So okay. do you see how here I have a little lift? Yes. Yeah. So that's why I'm like on the bottom. That's oh, I think I see where you're going with this. I think I see where you're going. So can you show them like a little yes. closer? Yes. Yes. And I think. I and think I'm making I that that a little bit thinner because. Yeah. Okay. So see okay. this ledge here. It kind of. Um, this is the ledge, right, Lena? That sticks out here. Yes, and yes. Then this, it's, very, it's thinner, and then... And this is the lid. And then it has a line of how to align it. So look at the uh, other way, yeah. Fits perfect. Boop. It's like on there. Mm -hmm. And this is... Oops, there's water in it. Okay. I washed okay. it because we had so much dust. Are you guys doing streaming live? Yeah. We are Molly Sanders Ceramics. You can watch and you can chat with us, but you're right here. Guys, you've never done a live with someone else in here, so cheers to our first audience member. So I'm putting a little bit of a slip to do the same thing that I did at the bottom, which I love this, just to... You're just painting a line. I'm just painting a line, and then I'll... No brush needed, you've got your finger. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so many times Lena and I have been talking about like my ideas, and I'm like, yeah, I want like 12 sinks. She's like, but why? You need, you need three. Sinks. She needed 24 wheels. Yeah, like 24 studio. wheels. What She's like, why do you need? Why? Yeah, no. Like, okay, so ta da, there you go. Ta da, we have our stamp of our. So, there's the size that I'm going to cut for this, okay? Uh, I'm seeing, I'm seeing. Are y'all seeing? Does anyone know where she's going with this to get that perfect fit? I think I have an idea. Have you ever done clay, sir? No, I haven't. What's your name? Dave. Dave's here, guys. We have an audience member, Dave. Dave, we need you to like clap and laugh and applaud. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to grab the side of the truck and order this gift. <laughs> You're gonna scare my clients away, Molly. It's gonna be like, no, oh, he's, he's gonna wanna come. No, 
I'm going to come with her when she yeah, comes. Yeah, you can make one of these, and now you'll know how. <laughs> she loves this stuff. Is this your wife we're shopping for, Dave? Yes, yeah, Sue, my future wife. Oh, oh she's going to be a she's going to be a future wife if you get her gift card. <laughs> she won't say no to that. Hi, Dave. Look, the people are talking to you, Dave. <laughs> Oh, they say hi, Dave. Stop, so, Dave. Stop We're getting Dave. along. Dave's stealing the show. Dave's stealing the show. Dave, if you want to come back. I'm saying. Amazing. <laughs> this is the beauty of having a studio. The community can just come in. I am hand building little plates while watching you guys. And Narelle has oh, shown me the cutest right. thing. Remember, I sh actually showed Lena I your work, Narelle. Plate. The girl that was rolling the the leaf over the in the oh yeah room. I said that the green leaf and she said yeah. she's doing it for her grandmother yes, yes, right. she's doing like five of them to give to oh I'm gonna mess it's it like up nice. but it's a sweet creation okay so this is gonna stop it's gonna attach here right right squaring and slipping in one but before I do that I need to cut the hole look South Korea so when I cut the hole this hole. That part of the slab is going to become this. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Does that make sense? So, yes. so, so what I cut here is going to become this. Genius. Genius. So you don't have to rub fit because it's from the same piece. It's from the same piece. So I shouldn't even have scored yet, but I did. Um, so now I'm going to cut the hole. Okay. So okay. Let me do. Dave, are you getting a gift card for you and your future? Yes, I'm going oh, to come. Good, a couple's throwing session. Yeah, I'm going to come down so I can. Are you hoping to ghost? Because that's always what people say. Oh, can we ghost? What does that mean? Oh, God, you're the first person, Dave, that doesn't know what that means. I like it. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to ruin it. Keep that. Okay, you just need to watch. It's an old movie. Patrick Swayze and Ghost. And Danny oh, oh, oh okay. he knows, guys. Yeah. Now he knows. <laughs> Everyone knows. She, she'd love that yes. if, I, if I ghosted her. Yes. <laughs> Ghosting. Well, not you, no, ghosting is like a mean thing now. You, you kind of just want to ghost your girlfriend. That's something totally different. Ghosting is like, these days, it's like you don't want to be ghosted by your girlfriend. Oh, because ghosting means you like just disappear. Yeah, like so cool, you guys. Guys, if you're just tuning in, we've got Dave in our audience. We've okay. got Lena making this. This is going to be coming part the here to be the whole thing. Yes. And that's so this is going to become that. The, the part that keeps the lid from sliding off. That's going to be part of the leaf because this is the leaf. So I'm placing But that, that little right window here. becomes this ledge to catch the lid. And I made a mistake. I didn't mark. Angela! Hi, Angela! Guys. And I'm going to mark. Let Dave know it's over at 8. <laughs> this line. Yeah, it's over at 8, Dave. So I'm marking a line oh. right there. So you see over there. Mm -hmm. So it's like a cue of how this is going to fit. Okay, I'll show that up close. Okay. I'll show that up close. We've and now got. I'm gonna close this. Who is that? Angela. Angela. See that little mark right there? It's just a little mark, but it matches the little mark right there. Okay. So and then now you know I'm it. Gonna, so this is what I'm making. I'm making a square teapot, you guys. Okay. So I'm putting the lid. Uh, I mean, not the lid. This is just part of the teapot. So that one got a little blended in. Do you see that? It looks beautiful. So we can we can do that, or you could not. You can or you could not. You can leave it really separate. But I'm gonna do. I'm gonna you could sculpt flowers onto the side. I'm you gonna blend it a little bit. You could poke some dots. You can really do anything. You could do whatever your heart. That's what I love with hand building. You really can do anything. Right? You want. Yeah. Dave, why are you and your future wife excited about clay? What is it about clay? Um, because you get to make things with it. Yeah. Your own creation. That then you get to use? Yes. Yes. Like these, Lena made these cups, guys. These are Lena originals. Yes. She, I, I, I'm guessing she's into gardening and uh, oh, things like that. Oh, that's make planters, yes, yeah. she wants to make planters, yeah. planters Absolutely. for her backyard. So you guys, every time I hand build, I'm not a big fan of water, but I do like a sponge that's almost dry. So I'm squeezing some water, and now I'm going to the smooth. Wait, is that Rebecca? Is Rebecca... Good to see you ladies in action. Scoot up to San Francisco to say hi to us at Clay by the Bay. Rebecca? Is, is that, that you? Go? No. How do you think it's it from Because it the says, re, is that you, Rebecca? Because we were just talking about how we met. It is Rebecca. It is Rebecca. Rebecca. We met yeah. because of you at <laughs> your so workshop. We were just talking about you. That's really cute. And why people yeah. shouldn't follow Tortoise because he's awful. We didn't get into that. We don't need to get into that. But, but I just like care. to remind people 
people because sometimes time passes and then they forget. And yeah. Let's not forget. Let's not forget. No. But we did say that it was amazing because a lot of great women came We made friendships. So we made international friendships. Okay, you guys. So that is a hand-built teapot part of it. Okay. Guys, Lena is whipping this hand-built teapot. She's a studio owner of two studios. She makes once a month. She hasn't made this in six years. And then I took this part that is actually going to fit, and that way you're going to have a perfect fit. No wiggle. All right. And we're doing this in in, uh, in 15 minutes. We're almost done. <laughs> okay, there we go. There this we go. Perfect. So, so you see lady. that, we're going to need a slab to attach this to so it could become the lid, right? So let's do a lid. Now, you could do a lid that's circle. You can do. It doesn't matter what shape here. Right? You would just cut out that center and, and it becomes it the it. sliding. Yeah, so do we want a circle? Do oh, want... I see. You know the what I mean? second it piece could be whatever. If you're going to be really modern. Well, we'll, we'll let's just do the square. Okay, let's we'll do the square. Okay. Um, so it's like a double. This is what we're doing now. Cut out. I did realize I did make the slabs a little bit big so you guys can see better. But. Yeah, you see these slabs are pretty thin I'm versus make the them one. a little bit thinner. So oh, thinner. she's making them thinner. Guys, if you don't have a slab roller. But you make slaps, okay? There we go. Okay, there we go. Almost drank her rosé. I'm gonna cheers. Let's cheers my. You're drinking mine. <laughs> no, I almost did. Cheers. Okay. Okay. So then I need to decide: Do I want how this one sits on it all the way to here? So maybe I want a slab that sits all the way that like way, right? Like comes out close. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. I can get the ruler. If you haven't seen it, I haven't really measured anything as I was building. Right. Just cut. Even though she's that detail-oriented person. So. Oh my gosh, there's Svetlana. She was just in here. Svetlana. That's another teacher here at Good Dirt to, LA. You guys have to follow Svetlana forever. Follow her. She just said, hey ladies, cheers. Follow her. She's amazing. She's amazing. Everybody here is so amazing. She's a great teacher. I will say when I came to LA, I, I did not imagine everybody being so nice. Like, you think, like, I don't know. They're so what do you nice. mean you think, like, no, people in LA are great. I don't know. I thought, I don't know. I've never been to LA. I'm from the west, from the east coast here, Dave. Oh, West they're talking to Dave, actually. Dave, are you going to cut the lead? Oh, so for those who just tuned in, Dave came to buy a gift certificate. Dave, have you ever touched clay? <laughs> and now he's, come like, here, Dave. involved come here. in all of this. In high school, I Come here, come feel this. What did you do in high school, Dave? <laughs> Guys. Dave, Dave just walked into Good Dirt LA. Touch it. That's what you're going to... Look, come show him your... Look, this is Dave, guys. He's getting a gift certificate for him and his future what? fiance. Is she a fiance yet? Yeah, she is. Well, she's a fiance. So he's in here. But Dave is just getting to watch. Lena's doing the demo. Well, I, don't think, that, I don't think that Dave really wants to watch. He wants to get his gift certificate and go inside. I think Dave's too. having a great time. Yeah. No, this is fun. <laughs> Dave's having a great time. How many people are watching you? Uh, we got... It looks like 18, 18 right now. Oh, hello from Argentina. Hola, I told you Argentina. Argentina, South Argentina, Korea. Argentina, South Korea. It's amazing. England. The internet brings us together, Dave. It's made of a small world. It sure. does. It does. It's true. Selena has the cutout from her lid. Tell She's now making a bigger square. Is watching us. This is adorable. I know, Rebecca, you really are the reason we're even here. So thank you, Rebecca. So this is going to be my lid. And so I'm going to attach this here and then... As you Do you can, have as to you make sure see. that that's like centered? I guess it doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter. Then it will be on the center, but and then it will fit inside. Fit and it can't yeah. shake around. Yeah. So I'm gonna make sure it fits that way, and this is going to be attached that way. So I'm gonna score and slip. Okay. Okay. And actually, I think it would be nice to round this edges a little bit. Why not? The world is your oyster. Oh, look, Nancy. Hi, Molly. This is so fun to watch you guys. Nancy, I'm having a ball out here. So I met Nancy at the Anderson Ranch Art Center. I did a workshop. Okay. And we met and became fast friends. But we don't live anywhere near each other. Nancy, I think you live in San Francisco, actually, right? Oh, and look, New Jersey is tuning in. Hey, Mudroom. Love y'all for tuning in. This is so fun. And thank you, Lena, for, guys, she works nonstop. Welcome. Like, she's turning kilns. At every really, hour of the day, I do work she's up stuff. early, she's emailing, like she doesn't stop. And so for her to take this hour and do this is so yeah, nice. So and she nice. hasn't done this teapot in six years, and she's just like, let's do it. Let's do it. Love it. Molly came all the way here from the gym as well. It was a treat. It was a treat. 
Mill Valley and, and near San Francisco. So have you been to Clay by the Bay, Nancy? Because that's where we met. Yeah, so Rebecca, okay. Rebecca owns Clay by the Bay and hosted a workshop in San Francisco for the business of clay for women. And she, Lee. All right, you guys, the lid. Okay, the lid. Now, you ready? Perfect, perfect. Gonna fit right there, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Right. You can't get a better fit than that, Dave. You <laughs> can't. That, you will learn soon how hard it is to get a nice fit. Perfect. That's perfect. So I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna add this. Now, as you're taking this on and off, are you oh. are you worried ever about the warping or the peeling of the clay and it remembering that you bent it? Well, I'm not really bending it. But I mean, it kind of like sometimes they say a slab it will remember, Dave. It's true. Clasp, it has they, if you curl it up and then you push it down, it remembers and it, as yeah. it dries, it will go back. Oh, it's true. So they said. No, it's not what they said. But Lena doesn't seem to care. She's the boss of that clay. She's like, we're going to bend, we're going to fit, and then we're going to come back out. Well, I just told her what to do, and she listens. Yeah, I mean, she's the boss. And you don't, you're putting this all in there, and you haven't done the handle yet. You don't care about that? The handle? No. Because you're just showing the fit? Yeah. We're going to finish this, and then, um, you can, if you want, you can pull a handle for me. Okay. Um, um, and somebody said, I like the slight curve on the lid. It matches the walls beautifully. Oh, this is like curve on the lid? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I guess so. So sweet. It will fit nicely, huh? I'm just going to take some of this clay here. Okay. And then I'll, I'll think of a little thing uh, to make. Yeah, this is going to be great. So you have a left. So one-time classes aren't available? I know they sell out about a month and a half in advance. The workshops? Yeah. Yeah. So I had to buy a four pack. So. But if you want to, you can just do a private lesson for the two of you. It's a two and a half hour class and it's uh, for two people, 150. So if you want a gift card, you just buy a gift card for 150 and then you guys can email us and figure it out when you want to come. I didn't see what gift cards were here. And then if you do a private, yeah, that seems like a good time. So I'm playing a handle for Lena's teapot. Lena's helping Dave get a gift card for him and his fiance. It's the San Francisco, so so where are we? Ever it's ever the LA way, out. guys. Pottery's the new yoga. Okay, That's what they say on here. Because I hardly ever used to ask. Oh, here it is, right here. Playing a handle. Okay. Guys, if you're just tuning in, we are in LA. Busiest and best studio in LA. Yeah, exactly. yeah we need you. Yeah, 150 for our private for two. Lena is yeah. just selling classes. Then you figure it out later, but you can do a private lesson. Because they say in LA, pottery is the new yoga. Dave, do you do yoga? <gasps> yes, I have. I've done you yoga. You do yoga? Because they say this is the new yoga. The slash cooter, like, hashtag Mola. You know, the hashtag is actually made at Mola, for Mola. Made at Mola. Yeah. Right. <laughs> this is a so I feel like this teapot needs not as thick of a handle that this is. I'm going to try this little one. So should I try this to the same little hand? Yeah, thing? why not? That clay is tired. <laughs> and it's a little, I need kind of like more water in my clay. Um, this is in my clay. extra. Hashtag yoga Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag yoga Dave. Dave, you're going to have all the new nicknames for just popping in at this time. <laughs> He's like the most famous He's the most famous for pottery. Dave, Dave, do you they have know me in Argentina now. Yes! yes. In Argentina Dave, now, there. Dave, we need your Instagram to tag you. <laughs> And then we need your photo later. I just came to buy a gift certificate for him and his fiance. And here he is. And he's our third guest. The celebrity honor. He did not know. Can I clean this up for you? I'm trying to figure out what will be. Cut little knots. <laughs> Where that's going on? Svetlana is laughing. <laughs> and I like all the hashtags. Oh, and Svetlana will be really good at teaching, at, oh, at, yeah. at figuring out the calories. Svetlana. Because she does yoga. Do you want to ask her? She wasn't tuning in. About early. finding out the calories? Yeah. Okay, so Svetlana, we, because of the phrase, you know, pottery is the new yoga, we're trying to figure out how can we calculate the calories burned during a pottery session 
So we can offer that alongside the description. Like, take a beginning class, burn 500 calories. Because it's very LA, so people are like, oh no, I have yoga. Yeah. So we're like, no, 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 listen. Take a pottery class. Take a pottery class. I mean, you can even add in some like abs at the beginning. Hey guys, before you get to your wheel, we're gonna like scrunch. Pick but up your weights, pick up your bag of clay. Let me try it, that's right. And yes. Helena can teach that class yes. for sure. Uh, you could she's take amazing. your bag of clay. She's amazing, she can teach it. I could see she's amazing. Look at Lena, she's amazing. Just smearing out the seam of her of her handle. Don't eat the pottery, zero calories. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, the, the pottery what? Yeah, not only are you working out, you're not cup? eating it. What's, it's wine. Okay. <laughs> See, Dave knows, it's a drinking show. Dave, of course it's, it's wine. It's a drinking and clay show. Now, now I'm coming for sure. Dave, do you watch Bravo TV? Do you know who Andy Cohen is? Yes, I do. He's my idol, so I want to be like Andy Cohen. So I have my cue cards that are backwards because it shows up right side there, and we ask our questions, and we drink. And well, you're the bartender. Dave's the bar You know how he has the bartender? Mm -hmm. Dave's the bartender. Maybe <laughs> I've never had anyone else in here, but maybe it could work. Aha, uh -huh, genius ideas. LA people will love it. LA people will love it. I, I already everywhere. have, when I was in Colombia one time, I said they, my, to my brother, what do you think of pottery boot camp? My brother said, like, people are so love intense things in America. Like, boot camp. <laughs> 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 so proud. I, okay. Hey, you have to. Okay, gentle. Oh, I'm peeling it. Is I don't it like back? that. We'll put it back here. Look, perfect fit. Is this a demo? The bathroom is not clean yet. It's not clean yet, and I'm just gonna. Yeah. Okay, we'll go back. Well, yeah, it doesn't look as perfect. I kind of, after you, like, but y'all know, people who are watching are clay people, mostly, yeah. and they yeah. get it. And this, yeah. is, so, this is, oh my gosh, we have, like, less, we only have, like, three, four minutes. Three, four minutes. Okay, yeah. perfect. That's perfect. 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 So, you're gonna attach a handle, so, okay, square teapot. Uh, really important of the placement of your spout. If you do it over here, like really low, you only can put that much water in it. That's mm -hmm. why the spouts have to curl up um, and be kind yeah, of Yeah, how do you get a nice pour on your teapots? Because guys, teapots is the angle that you cut the spout in. The spout, that's yeah. it? And it won't dribble? No, I and you usually put thing. a little bit of a belly. That's why, do you see that little pouch uh -huh. there? So it's a nice little curve. That's why I like throwing it instead of hand building, but mm -hmm. let's hand build it in, in three minutes. Three minutes. Let's do it. So do you want to score on it, please, we'll and do a handle here? Yes. And then I'll just figure out how to make something okay. in three minutes. Okay. Why not? We'll collaborate on this handle square here. Part? Square part. I thought you said square. <laughs> Is it a square? I have an accent. Square. Oh my gosh, we went to a bar the other day. We have less than two minutes, and I just want to say this is so no. fun, and yes, tell the story. But we went to a bar the other day, and there was a guy talking to Molly, oh, and I was like, you. and I was like, he's so odd. And he's like, do you think he's hot? And I'm like, no, he's so odd, Molly. He's so odd. And then she goes like, really? You think he's hot? So I have to grab my phone and check, and like, right, Molly, he's super odd. And then he goes like, oh, okay. oh she was saying odd, and I thought she was saying he's so hot. And I'm like, he's not hot. He's odd. <laughs> and you're saying he's hot? translate a few things and it's hilarious I love her <laughs> guys we have a, like a minute so the members will hop back over on throne of Molly and finish this off but everybody else this is I just want to say this has been so fun and Lena thank you so much of like, course this has been like the time of a life coming out here I'm gonna make a spot and I met so many new friends all the people that took the class were amazing I tagged them all y'all should go back and follow them they're also talented follow all of Lena's studios I mean she's amazing and She's already thinking up new things for LA. 
calorie counting classes. <laughs> I'm always thinking of new things. And look at her spout. She's just using a needle tool handle. I'm gonna I'm gonna use Lena's. Yeah, it's just a pen and um, slip in one thing. Oh, I don't think you want me to do your handle. I'm like not. Yes, great Thinking about making. Time. I was just like hanging out. I wasn't preparing to make. But look, third to ten seconds, guys. Cheers. Oh, wait, Let's wait, just wait, end wait. with the cheers. Wait, wait, wait. No, we gotta end with a cheer. Wait, wait, wait. Love you. We'll see y'all next Monday. Members, we'll see you on Third with Molly for the after show. Thanks for watching. See y'all next week. Lena, love you.